Hi, hello, welcome back to another vlog of me living in New York City doing really regular, ordinary, average stuff. I had a very New York morning. I was in a terrible mood for about all of it. I have a three day weekend this weekend. I was supposed to go to the beach today. I was like, I don't even have anything to wear so I have to do laundry before we go. And then I take my clothes down and I come back after 30 minutes. Like that's the wash cycle because I have a washer dryer in the, in the lobby area. I came down and it was like still seven minutes left and the clothes are still going through the washing cycle. I'm like, seven minutes still? I come back up to my apartment. I forget about it. It's been like 20 minutes to go back down. Still seven minutes. That's weird. The clothes are just sloshing around in there in just clear water. So I text my landlord or my super in my building, like, hey, has this ever happened? He's like, yeah, pull down the switch thing and then make sure to pull it back up. It'll reset the machine. But then my clothes are just like sopping wet and still a little soapy. So I, I spent some time wringing out the clothes and the drain on the floor. So that was fun. And then when I made my coffee this morning, I brewed it. I had to deal with all the laundry stuff downstairs and then came back up, realized it was cold. I'm like, okay, cool, it can be iced coffee. As I'm looking in my mug, there was a carcass of a roach just floating. So didn't drink that. And then I just made a new hot coffee. <laughs> And I'm about to talk to my landlord about renewing my lease for this place. And the news is I'm not. I'm going to be leaving this apartment. Cool. So I just texted my landlord saying that you can call me anytime to discuss. Oh, he's calling. Shit. Hey, thanks for calling. I wanted to let you know. Thank you for one. Thanks for giving me a couple days. See, I think I am going to be moving out at the end of my lease. Okay. Okay, cool. Okay. That sounds good. Yeah, let me know what else you need. I just also wanted to say thank you. You've been so great um, in helping me out these last couple years. So really appreciate your help. <laughs> thank you. Likewise, likewise. Thank you for everything. We'll be in touch, I guess. Yeah, sounds good. Thanks. Bye. sad actually <laughs> I wasn't really gonna get into this in this video calling my landlord is just like another thing on my to-do list but this apartment really gave me so much stability when I really needed it and I'm really sad to leave but I know that I need to I feel like I've I've outgrown the space a bit not like the physical space but I just have been through so much in this apartment that I just need something else something new like I moved in the fall of 2020 when everyone was leaving no one was coming back to New York for school the prices were so low like I moved in at 1450 and I'm only leaving at 1500 I didn't know it was rent stabilized I just know I needed my own place i like came to view this spot and it was perfect like i left i took about 10 minutes to think about it and i called the broker on the street before i got back on the subway <sighs> i'm just so grateful and i'm sure in many vlogs to come i'm just gonna be crying a lot i guess that means there's only i only have like three months left here maybe four <sighs> i have no idea what i'm gonna do i have a lot of ideas but i don't know which one i'm gonna do yet what a chaotic start to the video, I know, but I wanted to quickly introduce myself if you are new to my channel. So, hey, my name is Chelsea. I am a 30-something living alone in the Big Apple and have been doing so for the last almost seven years now. I just like to make fun videos showcasing as much of the realistic side of living here as I possibly can for either your entertainment or to help you understand what you're in for if you move here, especially if you're an average person like me. So yeah, if this sounds like something you'd be interested in watching, then I invite you to do just that. <laughs> I know it's 1.30 and I haven't made my bed, but whatever. There's a coffee shop close to my place that I'm gonna go to, I think, to start and then do some computer work maybe, or read, or practice French. This is a thing we'll get into. During my marathon training, I'm gonna, I've decided to learn another language and I was like, you know what, why not learn French? So I'm gonna listen to podcasts. Uh, I'm learning a little bit already. Bonjour, ça va? Bonjour. I'm practically Emily in Paris. Set them Chelsea and Harlem. That's a whole different aesthetic. Deciding to not re-sign my lease was both an easy decision and a really difficult one. I've kind of known in the back of my mind I wasn't gonna re-sign for the last years. There's many things about this place I just, I really need to move on from, but I'm definitely worried that I can't afford New York City anymore without it. I can never find the piece of clothing that I want when I wanna wear it, no matter what it is. There it is. 
Living in this $1,500 studio while making good corporate money has allowed me to save. And I know that moving to another apartment here where the minimum for studios is like $2,200 a month will completely eliminate that saving option. So long as I want to live by myself, which is a non-negotiable for me while I'm still single at least. I've been grappling with the fact that I have reached a completely blank slate in my life unexpectedly. And instead of getting paralyzed by the amount of decisions I need to make, I'm allowing myself to feel excited about all that I get to experience and that I hold the paintbrush to my life here. There's so much privilege with an opportunity like this. It's been helpful to take time to slow down and see which road to take, but overall, I do have time to figure this out. But for now, just living in a limbo. I don't know, man, that's a lot of stairs. And for not knowing what's on the other side of the stairs, I don't think it's worth going up that whole thing. Oh, by the way, at Manhattanville Coffee, a lady walked in with a cat on her shoulder and it's like a big, cat a really fat cat just perched there and was just chilling and looked so content how do you get a cat to do that do all cats do that why was that cat just there how did she figure that out how did she figure it out it would stay on her shoulder outside of her apartment it didn't even have a leash or a collar it was so cool i wanted to get a video of it but i didn't want to make it her uncomfortable so i just didn't but what Out of all the neighborhoods I've lived in in New York City, Harlem has easily been my favorite. The food in this neighborhood is unreal. You get a little bit of everything, Ethiopian, Mexican soul food, Italian, not a single salad bar in sight besides in the bodegas, but that's besides the point. You have the Apollo Theater on 125th Street. Right behind me in this video, I'm sitting in front of Alexander Hamilton's only house that was relocated to St. Nicholas Park. The history here, y'all, the Harlem Renaissance and its contribution to the civil rights movement, Malcolm X, so much culture is still alive here because of the foundation built by the black community. I've been out here for a couple hours and I almost fell asleep, so before I fall asleep, I should probably go home. All I gotta say is I'm just grateful to have lived on these grounds. Sometimes you just don't appreciate being somewhere until you know the time is running out, that the clock is ticking. But I remember on this day at this park, getting my back eaten out by mosquitoes on the grass. I do feel hopeful because my real home is simply me. And wherever I go, that feeling will pack its bags right along with me. You sure about that? Whew, that is a jam. I went to the fine and fairs type grocery store next door. The vegetables aren't always like that great at these types of places, but this selection actually seemed pretty good. So we got a bunch of fresh spinach. This was ridiculously expensive. This was $8.32 for chopped up strawberries, but they didn't have any other form of strawberries. This is more expensive than Trader Joe's. 10 out of 10 will not repurchase, but out of desperation, we had to make a call. Got another Malta. I'm gonna put that in the fridge. And then I have pasta sauce in the fridge and then I have some angel hair pasta, which I love because it's so quick. Cream parfait. They look so good and I love jello mixed with cream. So in my last video, I talked about how I'm not a cookie person and someone in the comments was like, it's because I gravitate more toward artificially flavored, acidic, fruity types of desserts. So that's my little haul. Thanks for shopping with us. <laughs> oh, it just says thanks for shopping here. Thanks for shopping here. This would honestly make a nice tank top. <laughs> Is this not actually kind of <laughs> screaming? I mean, what? This actually fits and it's the off the shoulder. <laughs> that was weird. You keep it natural, stay in your bag like you wearing satchels. Hey, baby, you a godsend, 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 just missing the sandals. But still, you ain't missing much. Put your hands on my back, just a different touch. Put your on my plate, I don't skip the lunch. I don't skip the brunch, not the dinner neither. And we hella close, not a centimeter. Get an in between us, all you two turned up. Never turn down though, when it's big energy, when I come around though. So, 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 don't ever switch. Know you've been looking, won't find it like this. Know you've been looking for the head of them curves. I'm Jimmy Johnson with this, uh, I'm Jimmy Johnson with this. That I attest, I'm like running it. Just like a last woman, I run. Whatever you need, I'll try out the line with the d uh, Turn on the lights, take a flick. Uh, just don't be running this shit. Hey, I can see you as my chick. Nah, I can see you as my. You keep it natural, stay in your bag like you wearing satchels. There's very few things that smell better than frying garlic and onions. There's no onions here, but. Ooh, babes. Wee oui, wee, oui, chef. Did you see that? 
Do you see that? I guess it's fresh. Hold up. We don't want to toast this little guy. Oh my God. I'm so sorry. Oh, okay. Don't give up now. I'm giving him a motivational speech to survive. And yet I, I put him on a ledge. <laughs> Going to hell. Cheers. Not bad. Like a garlic lemon pepper pasta. A bit dry. Sweetheart, not everybody is going to get to go along on the full journey of your life with you, honey. Some people you meet and you're just going to be with them for a little bit of time. And some people are going to be with you for a really long time. I love you and I'm incredibly proud of you. You see, but if you play today, baby, have a seat on my feet every day, any day, every time, all the time, in my mind, summertime, dinner time. I wanna see you cross the finish line, uh Feeling like Jimmy, I give you this Johnson Know you like filming that kind Well, I just walked in It's like 8.20, I'm just getting home from work It smells bad in here My garbage went bad Okay, be right back so this is me being an excellent plant mommy, pulling my water plants out of the sink. Look at me also getting back to my friends when they message me. Voice notes are so much better than texting. You really understand the exact intention of what people are saying and nothing is misconstrued. And also you can listen to it on your own time. So that's even better. It's a win-win. Oh boy. I need a round of applause from each and every one of you watching. Clap, clap, clap. <laughs> I worked late and I'm not gonna order takeout. We're gonna make food. You know what? We gotta save some money. We gotta start being a bit more frugal. What I think I'm gonna do, I only have this much pasta left from yesterday. So I'm gonna do this and I'm gonna make the rest of the spinach. I don't know. But then I have a bunch of strawberries that we can eat for dessert and that will be good. A little bit of these jello cups from yesterday. I for real can't believe that I'm not ordering takeout. I think I've exhausted my takeout locations too. You know, when you order from someplace too much, you just like, nothing sounds good. That's where I'm at with that too. I really enjoyed having you here. I hope you got something out of this video. I hope uh, you have a wonderful week and we'll connect again soon, okay? <laughs> also, if you haven't already, make sure to like this video. Consider subscribing. I'd love to have you stick around for more upcoming videos. We have a lot more adventures to go on together and I'd love to have you here, so. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you at my next one. I love you, bye.